Welcome to iOS Development Tips and Tricks course. My name is Andy. In this lecture, we're going to look at how to extract JSON sample data into a Swift array. So let's start by creating a single view application. I'm going to call this project my movie and click next. Then put it in the folder that you want. And for this project, I'm going to take into the project the sample data that I already have. So right click and add files to my movies. And I'm going to get that file. And now let's take a look at the movies.json. So it has array of movie with name, rating, and format information. And before we import this data, I'm going to create a Swift class. Let's create a new file and select iOS and then Swift file. I'm going to call this movie.swift, then create. And let's create the class for the movie. So class movie, and then let's create the property. So name, it's a string, user rating is an int, and then the format is a string. Then we're going to create the init file. So it's going to be name with type of string user rating, type of integer, and format is a string. Then we're going to assign to our properties. So and self dot user rating equal user rating and self dot format equal format. All right, so now we're going to start importing our movies.json and then we're going to create a movies array. So I'm going to do this in app delegate. So it's going to import the data when the app is loading the first time. So let's go to the bottom and then we're going to create a function called function upload sample data. And we're going to return an array of movie after we extract our json data so it's going to be array of movie and then first that we need to do we need to get the reference to our movies.json so we're going to do let url equal ns bundle dot main bundle dot url for resource and the name is going to be the names of our json file which is movies with extension this is going to be json extension then we need to get the data out of that url so let data equal ns data contents of url and we're passing in our url and we're going to need to unwrap this URL. And the next thing, we need to get the data, the JSON object from the data. And we need to do this inside of a do catch block. So we're going to create do. And then we need to create the catch. So I'm just going to print out error getting sample data. And now we need to get the JSON object. So let JSON result equal try ns JSON serialization dot JSON object with data. And then we're going to pass in the data object. And then the options, I'm just going to press enter and then dot. 
mutable containers and we're going to cast this as an ns dictionary and now out of this we need to convert that json object into a json array so we're going to do let json array equal json result dot value for key and this is going to be movies and we're going to cast this into an ns array so the value for key movies this come from the movie at the root of our json object and let's go back to the app delegate and we need to actually unwrap this data when we get the json object now that we get the json object as an ns array we can simply loop and create the movie object and i'm going to put that movie object into an array of movies that we're going to return so let's first create the array so for movies this is going to be an array of movie and i will just to initialize the first time with an empty array bit of misspelling there so movie then we're going to loop through our json array so for json in json array and then we're going to get the name rating and format so let name equal json name and cast this as a string and then the next one is user rating so json use thing is called rating in our data as int and the last one is let format json format as string and now we get all the necessary information to create our movie object so we can create let movie and create our movie object and passing in the name the user rating and the format so name and we need to unwrap this and then user rating and the format and the last thing we want to insert this movie into our movies array so movies dot append and passing in our movie object and just for a quick check i'm going to print out the name of the movie to make sure that indeed our movies array has been populated so movie in movies and we're just going to print out the name of our movie right and then the next thing we need to return our movies array so return movies and at the top we need to make sure that that function to upload this sample data is called when the app is loaded and then let movies upload sample data now let's build and run our project and i'm going to show the debugger area and it prints out the list of movies from our movies array so that shows that we successfully extract the json data into our swift array